Hey, welcome to the episode of Beers, Jack, and Barbecue. So, I'm Craig, and believe it or not, the man, the myth, the legend, Jack, is with us today. Pennsylvania, where we live, our county moved into a yellow phase, so the stay-at-home order has been lifted. And again, not sure when this is coming out, but that was June 5th, I believe it was, that we were allowed to do more things. So, uh, we're able to do this now. Um, we're still going to be safe, still stay away from each other as much as we can, keep our six-foot distance, but we can at least do that here with Jack on one side of the, the patio, me on the other, shooting the video. So here we are, we're gonna do a leg of lamb on the Komodo Joe Big Joe, using the rotisserie. So season this about four hours ago, um, hit it pretty good with rosemary, and then I also hit it with uh, Cosmo's SPG, so a little bit of salt, pepper, garlic. Didn't overdo it with that. Definitely got a good coating of rosemary on it to have that flavor come out of it. But we're gonna throw on the grill. I got my meter probe in here. We're gonna uh, do the monitor the temp for uh, the pit temp. It's holding right now around 350. We'll see. I'll adjust it to stay around 350 during the cook. Um, but we'll get this on, and we'll see you on the grill. All right, we're gonna throw it on. I think I have it all centered where I need it. I'm pretty close to center. I might just try to move it real quick here. Oh, there we go. And turn it on and get it spinning. All right, so we're going to let this go. I didn't tell you in the beginning, we we're going to shoot for about 133. It's going to be on the higher end of medium rare. A uh, few of us, few people that are here today are going to like it just a little bit more done. Um, the rest are going to have medium rare, so hopefully you hit that medium rare to medium section. So we'll check this out as it gets towards 100. All right, we're going to check it out. We've hit 100 degrees, about 45 minutes of it. I don't know if you can see this, but I actually have it, the lid weighted down because of some of the leaking because of the rotisserie. Um, so I've been fighting that a little bit. It's looking pretty good. We're gonna just let it roll. We said we're gonna go for about 130, 133 before we pull it off. So uh, we'll bring it back as we get real close to the end there. All right, so we just hit 133. It was my target that I was going for. So I wanna check a few spots. I'm assuming I'm just not off the middle so I'm assuming I'll just be slightly underdone yet, which is okay. But I want to check a few spots. Yeah, that's a little low there yet, which well, I was expecting that. So we're about 117 of where I'm probed. It's in 130. So it means I can go a little bit more till we're done. Let me turn this on so I make sure it's spinning. All right, so want to check it out again. We rose about six degrees, which should make that center, you know, 125 area. Um, half of this is going to Jack's house, so they like it medium rare, which is going to work out nice here. Still a little low yet. I was expecting that to come up a little more, so we'll go another five minutes. We're at 117 there in that center. That'll raise as we let it rest, but I wanted to kind of get towards 120-ish before I start resting it. All right, it's been a few more minutes. We're gonna check it out. Boy, it looks really nice though. I know with the gloves on, I always have more trouble turning it off. That's what I want to see, that 125, 124. Um, so that's going to be done. Let's check one more spot real quick. Yeah, we're ready to go. So I'm going to pull this off. We're going to let it rest for about 15 minutes, and then we'll bring it back when we cut into it. As always, cheers. All right, so here we are. End of the cook. 
Lego Lamb, Komodo Joe, Big Joe, Rotisserie. So what I mentioned in the very beginning was I used the Fogo Super Premium Lump Charcoal, which is fantastic charcoal. Worked out well. The grill, I was fighting a little bit. It seemed like the meter probe was like about 380. We'll shoot more for 350, but that was okay. Had it down around 350 most of the time. Near the end, I let it raise a little bit. Like, do like a little bit of a crust that happens with the fat on a leg of lamb. So it kind of worked out nice that way. Um, so season it about four hours in advance with some rosemary and then some Cosmos SPG. Let it sit in the fridge uncovered for, like I said, it was three to four hours that I had it on there. Um, put it on the grill, just let it do its thing. Uh, initially, like I said, it came out with a probe and I knew where I was, I wasn't probably dead center, but that was okay because I was using that as a reference. I really wanted to double check this a whole long, whole long time as I got close to getting it done. So in the very center of some of these bigger pieces, we're only gonna be about 125 to 128. Like I said, part of this is gonna go home with Jack because we're able to get together, but we aren't gonna eat together today. Just sending part of this home for him and his wife I'm going to take this in the house to, with my wife and my mother-in-law here today. So we're going to do leg of lamb. Let's cut into it and see what it looks like. <clears throat> yeah, we got a nice medium rare in the center there. So let me get a little bit of a taste here. But rosemary just gives it that nice savory flavor. So a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, not too much garlic, because again, I didn't go heavy with the SPG. It was more about the rosemary making this a savory flavor, but hopefully you like everything you're seeing. Subscribe to the channel, click the little bell, get notifications every time I put one out, and we'll see you next time.